All right, everyone. Woman Jekka, and welcome to everyone. We would like to start by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land, the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nations, on which we meet today. We would also like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the lands on which our online attendees are joining us from. I'm joining from the lands of the Anawan people. We pay our respects to their elders, past, present and emerging. For those online, we encourage you to share which country you are attending from in the chat. A traditional elder from the Wurundjeri clan, Ian Hunter, will be joining us at the welcome reception to conduct a welcome to country, so please make sure that you join us later this afternoon. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Vala 2022. It's our 21st birthday, did you know that? So we should be celebrating. <laughs> Vala was established in 1978 in response to the IT revolution across the industry. The first Vala conference, it was a modest gathering, was held at the University of Melbourne in 1981. Growing into the largest full peer reviewed library technology conference in Australia. The world in 2022 is a very different place. The challenges we faced and have faced over the past two years were unimagined at the first conference. But as librarians and curators of information, culture, history, science, of, of knowledge, that revolutionary technology we heralded 40 years ago has never been more important. The dark days of the global pandemic shone a light on information technology revealing its colours as a foundation of our community. It fed us news and information, entertained us with plenty of cats online, connected us through isolation, and as a global community, we collectively lived Bala's purpose. To cultivate the innovative and sustainable use of technology, we have changed this conference to reflect the trying times of this pandemic. We've reduced the full registration prices for both our members and our non-members and introduced what we consider to be a very re reasonable rate for our online content. Eb and I would like you to take this time to come together to recognise and celebrate, to be inspired and to inspire a mem uh, our community of practice, to generously and reflect, uh, respectfully exchange information and experiences and to boldly explore new ideas. So, Vala 2022 is back, better than ever. Melbourne is back, community is back, online is happening, welcome online, and bring it on. I'm Sarah Germain, I'm one half of the Vala 2022 co-chairs, Vala Vice President, and the Ma Manager of Member and Academic Services for Caval. I'm Eb Cartis, and I'm the other half of the co-chairs for the third time. I'm a cataloguer and a linked open data advocate, but I also like to paddle in the library system space, so a techie at heart. Back in June 2021, we were determined to make sure that we provided both an in-person event, so welcome everybody in Melbourne, and an online event, welcome everybody on the platform, to cater for the uncertainty of the thing that shall not be named. Today, we are delighted to have over 200 delegates joining me online. Hello to wherever you may be joining us from. We hope that your online Vala experience is a fantastic one. Even further back, the Vala Organising Committee met way back in 20, October 2020, which may seem like many moons ago, or was that many lockdowns ago? Too soon? Um, Vala 2020 was my last face-to-face -face conference, and I never thought that this day would come. I've missed seeing you all outside of the four Zoom walls, and I'm so thankful that you're here joining us. Please make sure that you make the most of Melbourne. Melbourne has missed you. I've missed you, and Vala has missed you. Eb and I would like to do a special shout out to the Vala 2022 Organising Committee. It's been a very long haul, and thank you so much for sticking with us. We'd like to acknowledge the contributions of Heather Bailey, Sam Gibber, wherever you are, <laughs> Ruth Lewis, who's online, Michelle McLean, Karen Muskell, uh, Caroline Ramsden, David Studham, Michael Tully, and Alicia Bignall. 
Also to the lovely WSM crew, um, Kate, Hannah and Fiona, and the good work group, Leslie, Kim and Fiona. So thank you all. And also thank you to the VALA committee for entrusting us um, with this new way of conferencing. We hope that we make you proud. Uh, we'd also like to thank in advance our keynotes coming from all co corners of the globe. Kim Tyree, if Kim's here, Melissa Terrace, Jerry McGovern, Alicia, uh, Alison McCrina and Kathy Reid. And the Future Crunch duo, which we will be introducing shortly, Will Tate and Dr Shasta Henry. And of course, we would like to... Uh, what would a Vala conference be without our speakers? The people are willing to put their time, blood, sweat and tears into writing papers and pulling together presentations to share with you our delegates, their learnings and exciting things that they have done. This conference has two unique programs, on-site and online. Plus, we also have lightning talks, e-posters and vendor presentations on the online platform for everybody to partake. We finished the on-site program with a panel session on leadership facilitated by Carmelo Sullivan. Our panellists from the different sectors are Nicole Kearney, Hugh Rundle, Kim Tairi and Leanne Williams. Please engage with all our speakers and ask them questions. Remember, the only dumb question is the one that isn't asked. Given the last two years, we're excited with the number of vendors who have been able to join us. The exhibition on level one is where you can enjoy the tea and lunch breaks and meet face to face with exhibitors to learn more about the latest products and services on offer. And of course, for those watching us online, on the online platform, make sure you visit the sponsors and exhibitors profiles on the platform too. Vala would like to thank all of our sponsors for their valued support of Vala 2022. You would have seen them all acknowledged on the screen earlier and throughout the conference. Particular thanks to Sage Publishing as our inclusivity partner and Clarivate as our apt partner. And remember, the conference app is your go-to tool. It has all the information you need over the coming days. If you have any questions at all, please see the team at the registration desk who will be able to assist. Your health and safety is paramount at Valor. So remember to self-distance where possible and undertake good hygiene practices throughout the conference. Take advantage of the hand sanitizers provided all throughout the venue. And if you're if you're more comfortable wearing a mask, please do. We have masks at the registration desk if, one, if yours is broken or you don't have your own. And of course, if you're not feeling well and are displaying COVID-19 well, COVID symptoms over the next few days, please refrain from returning to the conference and test accordingly. VALA seeks to provide a respectful and safe environment in which diverse participants may learn from, challenge and network and share with, company, with a company of colleagues. We recognise a shared responsibility to create and sustain the environment and do not tolerate harassment in any form. VALA will have duty officers assigned at all times during the VALA 2022 conference and will not tolerate behaviour um, that makes uh, attendees feel unsafe, intimidated, discriminated against, harassed or bullied. The Code of Conduct applies in all VALA 2022 conference spaces, including the exhibition, conference sessions, associated social events, and online. Ask for permission before uh, posting quotes or photographs of other people on social media. If you see anything or experience anything um, that might not be in line with our code of conduct, please report it to our duty officer uh, by asking at the rego desk um, for the duty officer to be paged, or you can text or call the duty officer phone number, which is on the welcome screen in the app. So please enjoy the next few days, whether attending on-site or online. We know it will be thought-provoking, challenging and, and a rewarding experience. So let's declare Vala 2022 open. Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs>